before making any adjustments to the seat and matters chairs, lock the two brake casters at the back of the chair for safety. The Orlando chair has a variable angled lift frame, and this basically comes in the form of three settings. Each setting on the frame will give you a different angle of lift. So the bottom hole will actually give you more of a lift that tilts the chair forward. The middle setting will give you an element of vertical rise, meaning that the chair will rise up in a vertical motion before it starts to tilt forward. The top setting will give you a vertical rise, meaning that the chair will just rise up in a complete vertical motion. To change the angle of the lift, we need to remove these two pins. The first thing we need to do is remove the R-clip from the pin. That will allow the pin then just to slide down out of the way. Once we have removed the pin, we can then choose which setting that we require. By moving the frame to where it needs to be, they line up the holes and then putting the pin back into position. We can then put the plastic spacer back on and put the R-clip back into place. 